Hi there. After the recent Glasgow, Dublin and Dubai courses, I promised the audiences that I would uh, provide some more information, particularly around the idea of programming, if you like, the principles of programming. And so what I decided to do is cut a few videos, we'll put them up for a few weeks and let those uh, people who participate in, and of course everyone else catch up with these ideas. The first thing is, let's talk about the, if you like, the characteristics of mindstore programming or mindstore goal setting. First thing to realise is that what we're all about doing is actually thinking big. Extraordinary men and women throughout history have always thought big, uh, and that's what's really driven them. they get got a passion and excitement for constantly going back to the future in their mind about something they wanted to have, do or be. What we don't do with mind stories set goals that our left brain actually kind of gives us permission to think is possible. It's really what we really, really want. Now, the next thing that's critical about it is that once we find those goals, once we've got what we really, really want in our heads, and we're programming using, of course, our screens or our ships, if you've done the island, the truth of the matter is that there is a degree of going back to it constantly. There's a degree of repetition. The rep repetition comes from the excitement that comes out of reviewing screen three, ship three, and of course, ultimately screen uh, so screen four and ship four, the consequences of you succeeding with your goals. Repetition becomes critical. Repetition actually creates in the brain the kind of notion of gestalt. And it's that idea that deep in our subconscious, we've kind of lived our lives to this point. Your subconscious, arguably, its purpose for existence, according to some people, is to make sure that everything uh, fits into our worldview or belief systems. And what it kind of says, if something suddenly shows up that isn't supposed to be there, then your mind will be drawn to it. It's kind of like what I've done here, is I've deliberately set myself up in the corner of one of my rooms in the house. And funnily enough, you can see just over my shoulder there, a house with a red roof on a beautiful headland and a bit by a beach. Bit of a kind of programming thing that we, that we do anyway, we've got different things around the house. Um, but that then, that then creates a gestalt because as I'm speaking, you're going to constantly kind of go over there. And there's kind of method in the madness, of course, because it'll remind you to get into your own house with the red roof or get across to your island, but nevertheless. Um, so, what, so for example, um, you often find yourself, you know, it's, it's a beautiful summer's day, you look up a cloud, it's a kind of lovely sky, but there's a meandering cloud across the sky. And suddenly you see something in the cloud that looks like a face or a bath duck or something. And that's the process of gestalt. There's actually disorder there, but your subconscious at a deep level doesn't like disorder, so it creates something for you to look at that kind of makes sense. And so you'll get that by even maybe looking at the bark of a tree, just at random, suddenly you see a shape there, a face there, or whatever. It's something we do, it's natural. And what seems to happen is that by constantly going back to the future and reviewing our future histories, we are kind of creating upset in our subconscious because our subconscious is looking out at the real world and saying, well, actually, you're telling me you're doing this, you're, you've got this, you have this thing, but in fact, you don't have. And what it does is it kind of kicks aside your conscious mind and it gets to work to draw your attention to the people, the places, the opportunities you need, the coincidences and so on, and begins to sort of stimulate in your mind the actions you need to take and slowly but surely you get towards your goals, but only of course, if the goals are inspiring you and you're constantly going back to the future to review them. So repetition is critical. The other thing, we're, as you know, we're not concerned about this how thing of it. Most other people who are setting goals are talking about set your goal, be realistic, set goals that are achievable, and of course, uh, to have the plan. Well, we know from reflecting on the men and women who have really inspired us that in the beginning they didn't have any plan. In fact, what happened was it was the goal itself, the dream, the idea that so inspired them. And then what seemed to happen was over time, the how emerged. And so in the beginning, if we find ourselves really fantasizing, really programming for something that seems impossible, that's where we should be. And so we are more inclined to be less concerned about this how because we know it will emerge, but rather really concerned about why. Why do you want it? Because that builds desire. And I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that later. Now, the final part of this is this notion of we set our goals actually in present tense, not in future tense, like we would imagine I would like to have, do or be. And so we're thinking of something in the future. When we program, we program as if it's already achieved. One of the stories you'll remember I often tell is the story of Whoopi Goldberg winning her Oscar and I dreamt about it all my life. 
If you think about it, whenever you're dreaming, you always dream actually in present tense. When you're dreaming, you're, you're in the experience now. It's not like something you're aware of that might happen in the future. You're experiencing it right now in the dream. And so when we hear this notion of, I had a dream, or dream about it, and dream and dream and dream again to achieve your goals, the truth of the matter is that when we're programming, we're experiencing the goal achieved already. So we're not interested in future kind of notion of, well, one day I would like to have, or one day I will be, but in the programming on the future screen, screen three, you're actually achieving it now. It's happening already. It's happening now in the experience. And of course, on screen for the consequences. That, in a sense, is slightly coming after uh, you achieving your goal now. So there is a sense of future there. In some ways, in fact, if we think about it also, there may well be a power in uh, not only thinking about having it now, but almost thinking about it in past tense, where you've gone ahead into the fourth screen, you've seen the consequences because you already know that you've achieved the goal that was set on the, the, the third screen of the third ship. So these are the characteristics of mind store goal setting. Think about that then. These are the mind store principles of goal setting, of programming. First of all, we program for what we really, really want. We don't allow our left brain to limit us at all. It's what we really want. It inspires us. And because it inspires us, we're constantly going to repeat, going back to screen three and four, ship three and four. We're going to go back to the future constantly because it so excites us and that will build desire, which we'll talk about in another video. We're not interested in how we're going to achieve the goal because we know that that will emerge in time. We're far more interested in why, why we want it, why we want to achieve it, what are the benefits that are going to come to us as a result of achieving the goals and that constantly gets us back to the future. And finally, we program in present tense, not with a sense of somehow it'll happen in the future, looking forward to the future. In the programming, on the screen three, or ship three, we're actually achieving the goal now. We sense it happening now. We engage our senses, what we're seeing, what we're hearing, and, and, and how we're feeling in that moment as the goal is achieved, as the future history is actually manifested. So thanks for watching. More videos to follow. Bye now.